Now, welcome back, our resident designer, Hamish Dodd. You're getting crafty with us. It's Craft Corner. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, craft. I mean, that's an interesting word, isn't it? Um, it perhaps would be if I made the cushions myself. I, I, I'm not that good, clearly. Uh, and I like to pay a man, of course. Yes, my, yes we don't My know catch that. cry. Yeah, that is. But, OK, cushions. Um, there's more to them than what you think, and everyone loves cushions. So I've brought a selection of cushions in. We're talking high-end because they can be expensive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're getting a custom cushion made with expensive fabric, you're looking at something like this and silk. So you're around a $200 cushion by the time it's made. Oh, that's okay. insane. This here, you're looking at around 150 Okay. And this here is a store-bought cushion, so it's around $60. That's where you're sort of going to pay for it. Okay, and why are cushions so important? Well, at the end of the day, we are doing a lot of um, neutrals, so our, our couch tends to be more neutral and then we bring our colour in with our cushions on it. Same with our beds. We're bringing in a lot of texture that way and, and that is how you bring in your texture texture and your colour is with your cushions. Okay, so what's on trend at the moment? Because I remember in the 90s it was those gigantic floor cushions. Yes. They were so cool. They, and do you know what? They were, and they, they were great. Now, well, I mean, decorative cushions on a bed, you probably want them to be slightly more puffy, so that in case you'd use a synthetic inner inside it. Um, something to remember too when you are making a cushion yeah. or you're buying a cushion, for a bed we want them to be nice and puffy and tight. So if you're going to make it, you want the um, inner to be one size bigger than what the actual case is ah. on the outside. That's how you keep it nice and puffy and tight. Something Good more tip. Like I don't get that though. Why do you have all the cushions on the bed? I don't understand this. Purely look. I, right. Wait, and that's absolutely off. fine. Oh, and actually, and while you're here, Dills and Dills the other night on the block, yes. um, they had all their cushions yeah. pointing up with yeah, the pointy I, corners. I, I, and they I, got, I saw it. Yep. That was special. And thankfully, they were reprimanded for it. I mean, let's face oh. it. Uh, uh, uh. No, yes. Oh, really? No, there yes. There is a way. It's quite simple, really. Okay, right. Okay, What's wrong well, with that? What's wrong with the... Well, I don't know. You're the it's designer, just, Hamish. It just seems to be greatly offensive to everyone, so um, <laughs> we just basically say no to that. In fact, I should probably do it for a client one day. Just, just for a laugh. Didn't you see the block? What? <laughs> okay, so if there's anything we want to do to make our own cushions, you got some tips for us? I, I do. Okay, here's the thing. Now, uh, as we know, some of these, the cost in the expensive cushions is the fabric. So... Can I touch that expensive cushion? Done. Oh yeah, get yeah. Get in there. Here. So what you can do is you can actually go out there, find end of run fabrics. Um, sometimes shops will actually sell very expensive fabrics that were end of runs that they've had made into cushions for you already. So you can pick them up for a good price. But if you're going to make it yourself and you want to save money, you could spend more money on the fabric. Yes. Zero fabrics you're going to buy by the meter, so you right. get a fair bit of fabric. Yeah. And then what you do is, well, actually this is the perfect example, isn't it? You turn it over, and you've got a plain fabric on the back. Okay. So you can use a much more cost-effective fabric on the back, nicer detail pattern on the front. Um, we don't do as much piping at the moment, mm -hmm. but we have a nice little flange. Can you see a little flange there? <laughs> right. there Is that go. what you call it? It's, it's the flange on the end of the pillow. Right. I know it sounds good. Like. Now, final little magical tip for you. Okay. Yes. How does one put the inner in the cushion cover and make it look good? Allow me to demonstrate. No, oh, show please me, do. please. Please oh, right. do. Well, we have the zip. This is not a concealed zip, but that's no drama. This works for me. This feels yeah. like a well, we take video. our inner. <laughs> we take our feather inner, because, you know, you like feather. Yeah. Yeah. We bend it in half. Yes. Of course, and, and then we poke it in. Oh, this is when I fail epically on national oh, television. Yeah. This, this is the, this is the yeah. you know the life hack video that's going to go viral. And then we yeah. pop it in there, and then we give it a little shake and oh, a little pat. Oh, get out! I of zip here. it up. Oh, and it's it's a feather one, so it's a stuffy little creature. Then we're going to pop it up, and we're going to give it a little pat. Yes. And I don't know. Look we're going to we're going to do a little zhuzh. Yeah. Now well that's done. a cushion. How is that a okay. trick? You just put it into the... <laughs> yeah, but I put it in, but it's even in the corners. Oh, okay. It's not like stuffed okay. like this. Look how precise and even that cushion is. No, and it looks great. Gotcha. Come on, so you're all over this, aren't no, you? No, you're right. No, we've learned today there is a way you place them and there's a way to stuff them. So, yeah. nice. Okay. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. Thank you, Hamish. Always a pleasure. <laughs>